Hey there beautiful people out there, it's me again. So it's Tuesday, so what? Let's talk Tuesday. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to say that again because it has been a while, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've done a Let's Talk Tuesday. I wanna expand my Let's Talk Tuesday and I don't know if you guys remember when I announced that I wrote a book and I mentioned in that video that I wanted to start my own organization to encourage and empower women and all of that. So that's been in the works, but I want to do something first before going full on into the organization organization so I've been trying to work on ways to do it right to make sure I execute it right to make sure that I'm consistent with it especially because I have a lot on my place I want to make sure that I'm consistent with it so that's in the work so hopefully by the spring summertime I should have it up and running so excited to share that with y'all this has been something that's been on my heart and it's been in the works for over a year now and I'm just so excited so I'm hoping that everything works out but I'll keep you guys posted with that so I'm so excited and I really miss um, doing let's talk Tuesdays and all that so if you have any suggestions or you have anything that you want to talk about on Tuesdays or whatever the case is please let me know down below I'm open for topics suggestions whatever the case is let me know down below so in today's let's talk Tuesday I want to make this video for any new or small youtubers out there or you know up-and-coming youtubers I actually did a video like this about two years ago but things have changed over time for new and small youtubers and all that so I just want to share a word of encouragement so for anyone who is looking to start a YouTube or has been thinking about starting a YouTube channel or whatever what are you waiting for like why aren't you doing it and I know some people say well I don't know how to go about it I don't know what camera to use I don't know what software to use or whatever there's so many resources out there that you can look up and see for yourself what will work for you but if you have any specific questions like what kind of camera should I use should I use a Nikon should I use a Canon should I use a Sony or whatever anything pertaining to like you know camera or whatever ask them down below and I can tell you what um you know what I suggest and of course you can do your research and kind of figure out on your own. You know, I used to ask the same questions or whatever and I feel like I never had anybody to tell me you know what to do or which camera to use or what da 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 da. And I don't want to be a YouTuber to not share you know whatever I know because trust me I do a lot of research and there's so much out there. Sometimes it's just good to get verbal advice from somebody who who's been doing this for a while. So this year in September will be five years since I've been on YouTube y'all like oh my god I can't believe five years five years and I know you're like five years and you only have 11,000 subscribers uh yes because it's just that it's my journey it's a little slow slow progression is better than no progression but at the same time I'm not <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny or whatever but I'm not selling my soul I'm not doing anything outrageous or anything too far out of my comfort zone to make me not be who I am. I want to make sure that I remain authentic. I want to make sure that I remain real. I just want to make sure that what I'm putting out is positivity, make sure that it's real life and all that. And I'm not going above and beyond to sell my soul or to do whatever to get views, to get subscribers and all that. So if me being myself or me putting out content and only getting 50 people to watch it, is what I get but as long as I know that it's authentic and real then so be it and that's just been it all the stuff that's going on on YouTube with the advertisement what they call it the ad copalypse <laughs> the ad copalypse or whatever like you know the ad situation that's been going on with YouTube um, it's been a lot it's been harder for new youtubers or smaller youtubers to gain subscribers or to gain views and stuff like that or it's been hard for people to get paid or whatnot because of what's been going on and and it's a sad situation because you know some people live off of YouTube like they make livings off of YouTube and they make good livings off of YouTube so I don't know I guess now that they see that more people are trying to go that route you know maybe I guess they're just trying to cut down on the amount of people who are just doing it because they want to make thousands of dollars off of YouTube they just want to get rid of some of these perverted videos these people who make bashing you know videos about youtubers and stuff like that I guess they're just trying to do a 
cleansed within home or whatever to get rid of the negativity to make sure that it's a safe environment for everybody. It's a positive, but then it's like a negative or whatever because there are so many people out there who have dreamed of doing YouTube for years and everything. And now that they finally have the opportunity, they finally saved up to do it. Now YouTube is making it hard for people to do that. So I just want to encourage you just to stay encouraged. As long as you start, you love what you do, you're passionate about what you do, then over time things will start to progress for you. You know, like people go into this thing, go into this thinking like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to put my first video out and then boom, I'm going to get 10,000 views or I'm going to get $100 to get that, you know, to meet that threshold or whatever. And that's not the case sometimes. If you look at some of these YouTubers who have big houses and, you know, are making livings off of YouTube, they've been doing this for years, like years. That's why I try not to compare my journey because even though this year will make it five years since I've been doing this, there are people who have been doing this four years prior to my five years so you know I can't compare my chapter 2 to somebody's chapter 25 you can't do that because then you're gonna lose sight of why you want to do this in the first place do you want to do it because you have a message that you want to put out to the atmosphere or you're just doing this because you want to make money and if money is the sole purpose of you doing this then you're not really doing it for the right reasons YouTube you know they'll pay you good one minute and they pay you bad the next so you just want to make sure that you're doing it for the right Right reasons and also despite everything that's going on with this ad copalypse or whatever you want to call it you know don't lose hope don't lose hope because it's just a setback we all know that setbacks are set ups for comebacks so you may be going through this dry season right now but if you keep going and stay consistent you know eventually you'll see that breakthrough you'll see the numbers you'll see the views and eventually you start to see the revenue coming last year was the first time I've ever gotten paid through YouTube or whatever and it's not much but you know it pays a bill or two <laughs> you know I'm just thankful for that because it shows that it is possible to make money but also it just goes to show you that you know as long as you stay consistent as long as you do what you love and you enjoy what you're doing then you will reap some type of benefit from it so although my journey is a little slow I kind of realized what I was doing wrong like I felt like my videos were all over the place my tags were all over the place my thumbnails were all over the place like I didn't have a structure my YouTube was not structured and I felt like I was just doing too too much like doing too many topics like people come to your channel because of something that they have been drawn to so look at a viral video that you've done or a video that's got a lot of views there's a reason why all those people came to that video because they were searching for that and also they were drawn to that video or whatever so you want to give the people what they want so if you did a video on hair and you got like 200,000 views you want to continue on that because obviously that is what's drawing people in if you're doing lifestyle videos you're doing mommy videos and more people are coming to that you want to continue on now I know people want to be diverse and they want to um you know do different topics like me or whatever but sometimes that's not the case because you may get 10,000 views on this video and then a hundred on this video and then you realize okay well people aren't too you know people aren't too drawn to this type of video so let me just focus on these kind of videos so that's really how you get subscribers and views just given what the people want what they're attracted to and why they came to your channel or your video in the first place so you want to be consistent with that and then you'll start to notice a growth once I started doing hair videos and videos you know pertaining to my daughter's hair and everything I noticed that that's what people are drawn to so I want to make sure that I'm continuing to do that because there's a reason why these people are drawn to that and why they decided to subscribe because of that so you just want to keep you want to keep that going but that's what I love to do I'm passionate about hair I'm passionate about motherhood I'm passionate about inspiring people so you want to give the people what they want but also make sure that that's a passion of yours make sure that you enjoy doing what people are drawn to and you will see success from that. you want to be consistent as well I know last year I was not as consistent with this channel 
channel as I wanted to be because I was just like I was I had a creator's block because I was like oh my gosh I don't know what to do what to put out and stuff like that because it's like everybody's doing makeup everybody's doing this everybody's doing that I just had a hard time you know fitting in or whatever although I don't want to fit in I don't want to be like anybody else I just wanted to see what you know I just I don't know it was just like a creator's block so it was a little struggle and I was just not as passionate about it you know I wasn't seeing my goals being accomplished I was like okay well maybe I just need to focus on other things but in the end of the day this is where I started this is what I love and this is what I've been enjoying so I can't give up on that so yeah so you want to just stay consistent you know make a schedule stick with it and you'll notice some growth coming from that. The YouTube Creators Day I learned that titles thumbnails and tags all go together so you want to make sure that your title matches your thumbnail you want to make sure that your thumbnail is popping so that people are drawn to it and then you want to make sure that your tags are tagged properly so that when people are searching for videos or whatever they see your video on that first page or second page or maybe the third if people even search that far if you need help with tags and stuff like that download some of these plugins that people have they have TubeBuddy they have um, Vid IQ. I love TubeBuddy because it gives you suggestions of tags. Like it'll tell you like, okay, you need to put this tag, this tag, this tag. Or you can search videos that have similar tags, see what tags they put on their videos, and then boom, that's it. They have, you can get the free version, which is limited stuff. You can pay monthly to get the whole shebang and all that, and that you will start to see grow from that. So this is stuff people don't tell you. I mean, I'm sure people don't know about TubeBuddy or Vid I what's it V V I Vid IQ I think I'll leave it down below. If you're trying to figure out what to tag or you're trying to figure out what to put in your videos, it's like that. TubeBuddy and VidIQ are really good ones. I think it's one more, but those are the two that I use and I just make sure that I properly tag what my video is about. Make sure in your title that what your video is about is within the first three words, first two words. When they're typing in their search that that video matches what they're looking for. It's hard to explain. Stop doing that sub for sub and follow for follow or asking people to follow you, y'all. It's 2018. If you have to hug hustle like that then you're going about it all the way wrong and the more you comment on people's videos or you keep putting the same thing sub for sub follow for follow and people subscribe to my channel just so you know that goes to their spam folder so they won't even see it unless they check their spam folder because sometimes like I'll notice like somebody would ask like me to subscribe to their channel or whatever and I won't see it for a whole month because I don't check my spam you know folder like that and then it's just like oh Oops, I didn't know you wanted me to follow you. Or you're somebody that constantly comments on somebody's page all the time, which is nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's good to show support, but YouTube catches that and sometimes it goes to their spam folder. So sometimes they'll see it, sometimes they don't. You know, when I watch it, if I like it and it's, you know, interesting, I'm a comment. I love supporting content creators. I love supporting successful people. So of course I'm a comment, but don't comment on every single video because then YouTube is going to consider that spam. Good thing about YouTube now is that they um, show your subscriber numbers. They'll put like the, um, they'll check to say top comments at the top or whatever. So you do have a good following or whatever. Your comment will be at the top and more than likely big YouTubers or whatever will see that. Just make sure you know not to blow up people's pages and all that. But also I think that's a good way to gain subscribers and also to gain recognition that you are, you do exist because people will say like, oh, okay, that person has 5,000 subscribers. Let me see what their channel's about. But all in all, I just wanted to make this video because I know that it's very discouraging for small YouTubers or people that are starting their YouTube, you know, to gain, you know, traffic and all that. But you just have to keep going. Remember that the big YouTubers who started years and years and years ago, you know, they started on their laptop. They started with nothing and all that. And look at them now. They didn't give up. You know, it's weird talking to a camera or whatever, but you don't, just don't give up like there are so many times that I wanted to give up I just said why am I doing this I'm getting attacked you know I don't like when people attack my child I don't like when people attack me it comes with the territory unfortunately however I'm not going to sit here and allow 
people who don't know me from yonder to discourage me from doing something that I love. And that's the kind of mentality you have to have. You have to realize that this is something different but also there's so many benefits that come from it not just the free products or the free trips it's like that i mean you can literally turn this into a business or you can use this as a platform to expand to start a business you know you just never know where your youtube will take you and that's what i don't want to give up on because i know i started this for a reason i just want to see what will happen if i don't give up i know what it's like to give up but let me challenge myself to see where this leads me if I don't give up. So keep speaking faith. You know, you may not get 20,000 subscribers this year. My short term goal for my first quarter is to gain 20,000 subscribers on this channel or on my vlogging channel or whatever. So I just have to keep speaking faith. I have to stay positive and hopefully, you know, that will come to pass. So, you know, just stay encouraged. If you have any questions or you want to know something, whatever, please feel free to let me know down below and I will definitely try to answer it for you. If I don't know it, I will find it for you and that's that. So stay encouraged, don't give up, and enjoy this journey, all right? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.